Hello Design students, in this, our first Photoshop assignment, we're going to be learning about the vignette. Vignette is an old style of photograph and film that uh, basically has this fade out to darkness at the edges. It has this soft edge that sort of darkens as you go towards the edge of your picture. And it's been used for years as a way to do portraits and a way to combine images over backgrounds. Something like this has a clean fade out as it goes over the background, and even old style photos, you have the same effect. It's also been used uh, to either positive or negative effect in the 90s uh, in portraits, which led to a lot of different meme images. Situations like this, where you have the fade out in the background, or this one with the overlay, or this one. Um, and they can be kind of goofy and silly, but they're a useful way to combine two images together. So in Photoshop, here I have Photoshop open behind. I'm going to, uh, you can either create a new file, or you can open an existing background image, or you can drag one in. For this example, I'm going to use this image, this landscape image here. And I'm going to right click and choose copy. And then when I go to make a new Photoshop file, one of my options here is clipboard, which means it's seeing the size of the image that is in my clipboard. And for me, that's an okay default to start at. So I'm going to click that and it's going to make me a square the same size as my clipboard. Now I can either hit control V on my keyboard or I can go edit paste and it will paste in that image that I copied from the internet. You can see over here, it gave that image its own layer and there is a background layer, which we don't really need, but I'm going to leave for now. Now the second image I'm going to get here is an image of Bob Ross, which I'm going to use to sort of fade out over my picture. Now I could copy and then paste the image in here and it will put it in. Potentially, if the image was too big, I might have to resize it. So for example, if I had a very large version, such as this one, and I pasted, you would see it is significantly larger than my background image. I can also download the image for later. For example, I could right click and save as. I'm going to put this in my downloads. And then I could go file open. And from my downloads, find Bob Ross and it will open it in a separate tab of Photoshop. This could allow me to use the selection marquee to take a piece of it, and then using the move tool, I can move up with a cut and drag my mouse over to the other uh, tab, and then drag down to the bottom, and you see I have a little plus sign on my cursor, and I can release. Now this is still looking a little big for me here. So I could hit Control and T on my keyboard to transform and drag this down from the corner to make it fit. At this exact point, I already have two images attached to each other. They are overlaid in the same image and I could save this as a JPEG and I will have combined the images together but I am looking for that clean fade out effect. And there are a couple ways to do it. First, let's zoom so I can see a little better. I'm gonna to go to view, fit on screen, which is also control zero on the keyboard. That's gonna zoom us in some. Then I'm going to use my lasso tool to make a selection. Now what I could do is select around this outside here And then I could move this out of the way, and you can see I've cut him out. I could also select the inverse 
which is going to flip it so I have these outside bits selected, and I could delete them on my keyboard. Now this still doesn't give us that nice fade out we want, nor does it give us uh, a way to like cleanly undo. It's We just did a destructive by deleting. So instead, I'm going to hit undo a couple times, and I'm going to utilize this setting up here that says feather. Now what feather does is it makes it so that our selection is soft and will only take some of it. So I'm going to make my feather five pixels. You may need to experiment with different numbers um, depending on the size of your images for your design. And I am going to select again Bob Ross's head with the feather. And it's okay if your mouse skills are such that it's sort of bumpy because feather sort of smooths everything out. Now, if I were to move it and grab it, you can see I have this nice sort of fuzzy edge on the side there. And it looks to me that with this size of pictures that I perhaps want to do a bigger feather. So I'm gonna go back to my lasso tool and I'm gonna set my feather to 20 pixels. And I'm going to once again select Bob Ross's head. And this time, instead of moving it, I'm going to just click this button down here in the lower right-hand corner. This is the layer mask button. And what it'll do is it's going to mask out everything that I didn't have selected. You can see here, if you look carefully, we're gonna talk more about masks later, but what it does is it makes it so that it masks out the parts that I don't want. Now, I still have some sort of sharp lines here that aren't great because of the size of my image that I cut Bob out of. So I could hide those by trying to sort of like line up with the side. I can also take the entire layer here and lower its opacity on the right side to have Bob sort of fade away here into my landscape. You can pick any two images you like and combine them together as long as you can see the clean fade out and the vignette effect uh, as it goes. It may be easier to see your vignette effect if you pick an image with a darker background than I have here because then the, uh, the cutout will be more clean. Here's a separate cutout of one on a black background where you can now more cleanly see the way the vignette fades out at the edges. For your assignment, pick any two images as long as they are classroom appropriate and have the top image fade out with a vignette over the bottom. I'm excited to see how you get creative.